It's 42 years since James Earl's sister disappeared. Today, the process of revisiting the circumstances of her death finally began. It's been a long time coming, James, but how important is it that this inquest is finally underway? It's uh, going to be a real relief if the uh, um, finding is what we hope, which is uh, that it was unlawful killing. Uh, we've waited a long time for that, and uh, I think you know justice will finally be done, at least in that respect. Jessie Earle was a 22-year-old art student in Eastbourne when she went missing in 1980. Nine years later, her remains were discovered at the Beachy Head Beauty Spot. No clothing was found apart from her bra. It had been knotted and was probably used to tie her wrists. An inquest at the time heard the cause of death was unascertainable and recorded an open verdict. Today, former detective Anne Capon, who worked on the original inquiry, said it had been woefully inadequate. She said she and colleagues had always believed Jesse's death was murder, but that a senior officer had made it clear it shouldn't be regarded as one. Miss Capon told the court the investigation had been reopened by police in 2000, but potentially vital evidence like the bra couldn't be found. She said advances in science meant there's every chance DNA could have been recovered from it had it been kept. Giving evidence by video link, Jessie's parents rejected any suggestion she'd been anxious or could have taken her own life. The family want the new inquest to find she was unlawfully killed. That would leave the question of who was responsible. Among those who've studied the case, the prime suspect is Peter Tobin, who's serving life at Edinburgh Prison for three murders. I think the links in relation to Peter Tobin and Jesse Earle's death are undeniable. Um, he was living in Eastbourne at the time that Jesse disappears. He moves as soon as Jesse's body's discovered. There are connections to the local church in Eastbourne, wh which I visited. I've even spoken to the priest that uh, w was in that church at the time, who remembered Peter Tobin at that time. Um, so the, the links are all there. The inquest before Sussex coroner James Healy-Pratt continues tomorrow. Gordon Cree, STV News, Eastbourne.